What's up guys, Evil Deer here, you're gone. Tonight I'm going to give you a rundown of a new dating website I just found. It's called Twitter. Now as you can see, it's a new website. It's, it hasn't hit the mainstream yet, but I reckon it's going to be there with me here. This is the main interface of the website, not much to it. Um, you can even sign up or you can sign in. As you can see, you don't have to put in too many details, so you can remain quite anonymous when you're looking for potential partners. Now, as you can see, it's just got some pictures that just rotate. I guess that's just showing you possible situations you could find yourself in. Mass orgy in the middle of the city there, which is pretty cool. Um, now, as you can also see, they've got the little Twitter icon up the side here. Now, this is a mystery. No one knows what this symbol is, so I actually figured it out. If you look sideways from the bottom, well, no, from the left up, it's actually Batman. Imagine a black, that's his ears sticking out, man. It's freaking Batman. I guess because Batman remains anonymous, because you imagine like Batman when he's going to like blind dating or something, it'd be quite hard for him to be anonymous because everyone's like, you're Batman. But anyway, the next thing I care about as an Esperanto speaker is the language, because obviously I want to meet another Esperanto student on her. Okay, so first up, you're going to go over here and you're going to select the language. Now, funnily enough, Esperanto isn't in this list. I'm guessing this is due to the fact that they couldn't afford to hire an Esperanto translator yet. I guess the website's still in beta or something. But um, you can use one of these lesser known languages like Spanish or... Um, I don't know, like Chinese or one of those languages if you want. But now we're going to sign in because I actually created myself a profile. Okay, so now we're in the main profile. As you can see, I've loaded my picture here for potential dates if they want to come hit on me. Um, the flower just symbolizes what I'm prepared to do. Now, I've put out a couple of little like things here, you know, something in Esperanto to get the girls hooked. Um, a little bit of English about slang to show that I'm quite a cultured individual. You've got to keep this up to date, otherwise people are going to think... And this guy's not, like, he doesn't really post that much stuff. I don't know much about him. So you've got to really just let everything out. You've got to let the world know everything about you. Down the side, you've got this thing that's called Who to Follow. It's actually like a stalking application so that if you see someone that you want to hit on, you can follow them and then stand at like a distance. It's like standing outside the window, except there's no police involved. It's great. Okay, um, up the top here, you can search Twitter. So you can search for potential partners, which is awesome. Um, and there's this thing called Tweet, which is basically where you just leave messages. It's like leaving love notes for people. It's awesome. Um, I put a, a couple here. It's not the best love notes. I'm still working on my poetry. But yeah, now I'm going to show you a couple of people on here that you'll want to stalk. Okay, so now I'm looking at the Ludisto page. Now, Ludisto is a person of particular interest on um, Twitter. This person here is actually an organization, so he's looking for multiple people to come in. Um, as you can see, he's posted some pictures. Uh, that's his face there, smiling, so you know that you know that's what you're going to get into if you're you're hooking on this person. See, he's got some subconscious stuff going here about you're a winner if you hook up with him type of thing. Um, something about bananas. Um, I don't know, maybe he's a little bit kinky, but you, you get the drift. So yeah, that's one person. Another one you might want to meet up with is Van Ege. This is another interesting person that you will definitely want to follow on Twitter and stalk from a distance. Um, as you can see, this person often declares their love for Esperanto, so I don't know if that means they're taken or not, but we'll see. Maybe I'll send a couple of tweets their way, see if I get a couple of bites, yeah? But yeah, the website's like, it's overall, it's very basic. Um, there's not too many features wise, like you can't put too much into your profile about what you're looking for and stuff like that. I just want to give you a quick um, rundown. Now, if you're interested in hitting on me, you know, even though I'm a taken man, I'm still looking at possible options out there. That's probably terrible, but just ignore that part. Um, this is my profile. You can follow me. You can send me a couple of dodgy tweets if you want. Eh? Okay, so yeah, that's basically it. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst website in the world, 10 being um, verduloid.com, um, I'd give this probably about a 4, maybe a 5, because, yeah, you know, it's, it's an okay website. It's got some cool features. Um, it's a bit clunky and stuff, you know. But yeah, I, I think it's a, it'll do for like your basic dating services slash stalking services. So that's it. If you've liked this video, give it a like, share it around with your friends, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. And if you're not there, well, guess what? I'm going to find you on here and I'm going to stalk the hell out of you. <laughs> and as always, I want to thank my Patreon supporters who are Alexander Tolfesson, Shane Power, Lupe, Robert Nilsson, Slava Shikolaev, Tommy Lindsley, Sarah S.C., Colt Arm, and JZ Knuckles because without them I couldn't find these awesome websites like Twitter and stalk people virtually around the world and share all that stuff with you my fans